Hey, Samsung fans. How you doing? Uh, we got a couple things for you. First, we got some good news, right? And then we have some... Not that. Uh, some might call it bad news. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, the show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Friday. Hopefully, you guys are ready for the weekend. Hopefully, you have a great weekend. Uh, we're going to try something new on today's episode, sort of a, an experiment at the lead of Philip DeFranco. Uh, so what we're going to do today is add a mid-roll ad. So instead of the normal sponsor spot that we put in and integrate into the episodes, that is going to go away today. And instead, we are adding a mid-roll ad, obviously, in the middle of the episode. Uh, to make up for that, we're actually going to give you more show. So instead of just three news stories today, we're going to cover four different stories. You'll get more FPT uh, and we'll get more money. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how, how it's going to work. Really, we want to try it for the search and discovery aspect thing. Philip DeFranco thinks that videos are actually recommended more that have a mid-roll ad. So we're just going to try. Just bear with us uh, and thank you. All right. So first story, f forced First story of the day, story numero uno, uh, is tech related because data. Data, a data breach makes us tech related. Marriott has just revealed that there was a crazy big database breach that affected up to, wait for it, 500 million hotel guests. So effectively what's happening here Marriott, today of all days, just decided that this was a good day to tell everyone that there was a massive database breach affecting guests, obviously millions and millions of them, of their Starwood Hotels, which is a company that they acquired back in 2016. A security investigation has apparently come to a conclusion that there was quote unquote unauthorized access to a database that was holding hotel guest records. Oh, and it's been happening since 2014. <laughs> so. Okay, you just slide that in there. Now, according to them, the breach includes up to 327 million records of quote unquote, some combination of name, mailing address, phone number, email address, passport number, holy shit, date of birth, gender, arrival and departure information, reservation date and communication preferences. Oh, and Marriott doesn't know the exact number per se, but some hotel guests have had their payment card information leaked. Woohoo! So now the New York Attorney General's office is opening up an investigation. Uh, and additionally, they said, under New York law, Marriott was required to provide notification to her office upon discovering the breach. They have not done so as of yet. Oh yeah, so they're f <laughs> Like, real f Marriott, what? What? First of all, we can only hope, that you said this was going on since 2014. We can only hope, actually, you can only hope that you just really, you really just found out about it. Because if you knew about it a while ago and you're just now telling people you are in for a storm up your anus, it will be not good. In fact, here is real footage of the Marriott right now. All right, so sad news for Google people. Well, I guess just people who use Google Hangouts the tens of you who still do, that's going away. So we knew this was happening, but now we sort of know exactly when. According to a report from 9to5Google, today uh, it will be gone. It will come to an end by 2020. And to be fair, since Hangouts launched, it has never, ever been okay. It's never done well. I just, it's been on life support. It was born on life support. It just seems that every chat client that Google ever wants us to use is just not good. And sometimes it's not even that the service itself is terrible. It's that like adoption rate is terrible. There aren't enough people using it. And when things aren't native, it's hard to be like, hey, I use this app. Can you download this app so we can talk on this app? Because I know you use this one because it's what you have, but I don't want to use that one. Can you download this one? And they're, they're like, uh, well, no, fuck you. So ladies and gents, if you want to continue to use Hangouts, uh, have fun. Uh, you got 2019. There's that. It's like just inviting everyone over for Thanksgiving in a burning house. Because hey, why not? It's going to go away, so we might as well spend our last Thanksgiving here. Now, if you haven't caught on by now, I hate Google Hangouts. Uh, I tried to use it for years. A couple of my friends used it. It's n I couldn't. 
I couldn't do it. I'm curious, what do you guys think? Are you sad that it's going away? Do you use Google Hangouts? Are you super invested in it? Let us know in the comment section below. Are you sad? Do you not care? Uh, rate this from a, like, T-series to PewDiePie scale. PewDiePie, obviously the, the better part of the scale. Okay, so now it is mid-roll time. Let's do that. We told you it was coming. Uh, here you go. And welcome back. Of course. <laughs> Of course, if you have an ad blocker turned on, you shit, or you pay for YouTube Premium, you didn't see nothing. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so this next one is a fun one. Not because the news story itself is not that fun, uh, but I, I really am genuinely curious about this question. I will ask the question after we do the news story. It's about Apple Music. So, starting December 17th, that's when it will be available, Apple Music is coming to Echo devices. Now, of course, if you have an Amazon Echo, you already know uh, that Spotify, Pandora, and even other music streaming services are already available there. Apple Music has been slagging behind for, I mean, let's be obvious. Or let, uh, let's be honest, obvious reasons. Words are hard. So soon, Apple Music users are going to be able to ask Alexa to play their favorite songs from their favorite artists doing their favorite things. Now, I'm sort of surprised that Apple is doing this, seeing as they want people, they want to lure people into the ecosystem. But, I mean, they already have Apple Music available for Android devices, and that, if anything, that's going to do more damages than put it on an Echo device. So this is where my question for you comes in. Uh, number one, I guess, do you care about the story? Do you care about it coming to your Echo device? But number two, uh, which one do you use, Apple Music or Spotify, and why? Let us know in the comment section below. Personally, I pay for both. I pay for both Apple Music and Spotify, but I use Spotify the most. I rarely ever use Apple Music. To me, Spotify is just insanely better in terms of, like, algorithmic use, the feature set. Discover Weekly is way, way better. Discovering music through Spotify is just 10 times better than on Apple Music. That is my personal opinion. Spotify just knows me, you know? We're like this. Spotify just knows me. And deep in my heart and my bones, Spotify knows what I want, and it gives it to me. Let us know in the comment section below. Apple Music, Spotify. Which one do you use, and why? Oh, and real quick, public service announcement. If you're one of the people that says, I don't pay for anything, I just download it for free. You can go fuck yourself. You ain't cool. You're just a fuck. All right, so Samsung news. Which one would you like first? The good news or the bad news? I'm going to give you the good news first. Take it easy on you. The Galaxy S10, the launch is just three months away. We're almost there, baby boys. But like the past couple weeks, it just seems like leak after leak after leak is happening. And for a while, Samsung was doing a real good job of keeping everything real secretive. That, that is not the case any longer. We know a lot about the upcoming Galaxy S10 models, uh, but a tweet from Ice Universe that just says, Beyond, gives us a pretty good idea of what bezels to expect, and my god, I'm not gonna lie, this looks amazing. Now, real quick, let me just throw this out there. Ice Universe is very, very reputable when it comes to Samsung leaks. We say that every time we mention them, uh, it still stands here. I cannot thank Samsung enough for remaining the last outlaw for hanging on to hope for the world. These tiny, eensy weensy tiny little bezels are way better than any fucking notch. Now, a couple things that I need to mention personally. For me, uh, this screen protector, this picture that Ice Universe posted of the screen protector looks upside down. So that thicker top bezel, uh, if we compare that to other screen protectors that have leaked, that looks like the chin. So this looks upside down to me. Now, the second thing that isn't entirely clear is, well, what about the Infinity O thing? So this might not be upside down. There might be room for a camera or two up in that top bezel. Or this is just the screen protector for an all display phone. And there is an Infinity O display on this thing. Uh, so there is a camera cut out in the left corner. But of course, since this is a screen protector, we won't know. That's not gonna show us that aspect of this device. So what we're looking at here most likely is a screen protector for a Samsung device. One of the Samsung Galaxy S10 models uh, that has an Infinity O display. So there is a camera cutout, but obviously since this is a screen protector, it would not show us that. It wouldn't need to have a camera cutout as well. Uh, I think that's what we're seeing. I'm being completely serious. Samsung makes some of the most beautiful devices that there is. Thank you, Samsung, so much for not caving, for not giving in to Apple's wants and needs for there to be a notch. 
You didn't do it. And for that, I highly respect you. I highly love you deep in my nutsack. Uh, you know, that whole, like, don't do what Apple wants thing. I spoke too soon. Because they're doing just that. Something that they made fun of Apple for for years. Mocked Apple for for years. We told you it was coming. We told you Samsung was going to do it. I told you months ago, and the first time we mentioned it, no one believed me. You're all like, no, Samsung would never. Well, it turns out, mother truckers, never is now. That's right. No more headphone jack. She gone. It seems what's happening right now is Samsung is actually bringing new features to mid-range phones before bringing them over to the flagships. That includes that asshole display. So not only will the Samsung Galaxy A8S have the Infinity O display, but also no headphone jack. So to fit everything in this device, to make the display go edge to edge, they gotta get rid of it. So if the Galaxy A8 gets rid of the headphone jack, what do you think happens next to the Galaxy S line, to the Note line. I don't know, you tell me. Hmm? Don't worry. I'll wait. And that is the show. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, now hit the dislike button. And if you are new here, subscribe. We'll see you guys uh, uh, tomorrow, I think. I don't really know.